good day Tinkercad friends. I am back with another project and this one's going to be called the Drop Ring. An awesome user on Reddit showed me how Drop worked and I'm just here to share it with you as an option. So once again let's drop the tube out. When we see the tube make the numbers 12 and 2.1 and then let's change its thickness to 8 millimeters because I found that is a better thickness uh, to put on a ring finger. If you do 64 sides, you get a nice rounded shape, but for our project, we want 10 sides because we're gonna put letters on every side. I like to do a bevel of one. You can experiment with those at will. And then I like to do the segments size four. I'm gonna use fit view to selection to zoom in a little bit. You could also use the view cube to get a better look at it, but now we're ready to move on. I want to place a letter on each of these 10 places. And I'm going to do it by using the work plane. When you click the work plane or press the letter W, you can click right on the face and that is where your next object is going to show up. Let's go down and find our text script. I am a big fan of the one on the fourth page called text script. When you drag it out, it is in cursive, which I don't like, but it does give us all these other choices to play with. I'm gonna use the one called Technique. No, today I'm gonna use Veranda. And then I'm gonna change it to the letter E. And I like the letter E because it's gonna demonstrate something for you in a moment. With the letter E selected, I'm gonna hold down Shift and grab one corner and shrink it until that measurement is in the five range. I'm going to look at it from the side and I'm going to change its thickness to one millimeter and I'm going to make it a hole. I'll go back to that view from the corner. You can also right click drag and uh, change your view. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. I'm going to scroll out a little bit, grab everything, and then I want to use the align tool to put it in the middle. So there we have added our piece to one side. Real quickly, we are going to add it to this side as well. Let's start by clicking on this side and pressing W and setting the work plane there. Let's go back to our first little piece and let's hit duplicate. You can also do control D. It doesn't really matter. And then simply move to the other side after selecting that piece. And don't even click, just hit the letter D. And notice it magically drops, that is what D stands for, our E to the other side. The only catch is our E is backwards, but we can fix that with the amazing flip tool. Bam! You have now got letters on both sides in one super simple step. All right, with our two letters added, let's shut off the work plane and let's add the rest of the letters. If you click on the first one and the second one, so there's two shapes selected. Do control D to duplicate it. And remember how there are 360 degrees in a circle and we have 10 sides. So if you divide that by 10, that means all we have to do is move 36 degrees to add our second set of letters. If you don't touch anything else and just hit duplicate again, again, and again, you will now have letters all the way around your shape. I am a huge Detroit Lions fan, so I am going to make mine say one pride by simply clicking on each letter and changing it to the letter I want it to be. I won't need a letter there, and I did do some math to make sure that one pride would fit. I might have to adjust that P as it uh, is kind of riding a little high on my ring. Hopefully you understand that this is so much easier than if I had uh, done each letter individually. And then I can get rid of this one pride. So now I've got a nifty ring that says one pride that does fit fine. I was a little nervous. I'm going to change it back to 64 sides. Notice how the letters are now embedded. And if I grab the entire project and I group it, it cuts out the words one pride.
just like that. The only thing I need to do now is make it blue so it has a little bit more of a Detroit Lions touch. This ring is designed to fit on a finger that is size 10. I have found that if I scale it in Kira by 5% up or down, that changes the ring size by one size. So you can make a ring that really one size fits all. I hope you enjoyed the movie, friends. If you did, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you have a comment, please add it in the comments below. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from HL Mod Tech, click that notification bell. Have a great day, friends, and keep tinkering.